Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Plenty of changes in the All Blacks side to face the Springboks on the weekend with a change in the halfback pairing, a change in the back three, as well as a change to the back row. With a very new look bench, uh, with a lot of experience um, as has been deployed by uh, Scott Robinson for Saturday's game in the hope to try and counteract um, that sort of final 20-minute slump that we have seen from the All Blacks in the last few games where they've not managed to score any points and have actually allowed teams back into the game where they've kind of been shot right towards the end. So some very interesting calls being made ahead of this weekend. A couple of big injuries as well for the All Blacks. Very notably, no Ethan Blackadder, who has been one of the most informed players for the All Blacks. Also, no Caleb Clark. They are out with a hamstring and a back injury, respectively. And uh, very interesting to see uh, what sort of the reason that Scott Robertson provided for the side that you're looking at over there. So well, let's go through it, shall we? In the front row, it is Tamati Williams, Kote, Toa Lomax, an unchanged front row from last weekend. They are backed up by Scott Barrett, who's the captain, as well as Tupo Vai. Very weirdly, um, Cody Taylor actually uh, having the vice-captaincy part removed from his name. Uh, I'm not sure if it was disorder in the ranks. Uh, I mean, the whole having three vice captains a bit stupid anyway um, but just the two vice captains this weekend and then there's a massive opportunity for Wallace Satiti who gets an opportunity to start in the number six jersey it will be the first ever start for the 21 year old who um, has been in electric form in super rugby he has played two appearances off the bench um, and will get his first start um, this weekend and uh, yeah, very interesting to see how the Chiefs uh, youngster will go. I mean, he's, he's so new to rugby, he's only even playing. This is his first sort of full professional season. And, uh, you know, it brings a, a lot to him. You know, he's a big ball carrier, um, 113 kgs, um, slightly lower than 1.9. He's not the tallest of, of, of these forwards, but uh, brings a lot uh, in terms of uh, his, his, his physicality and the size he brings. So, a big opportunity for him. And um, there has been a change in uh, scrum up. Cortez Ratzema has replaced Hida Perinara in the starting lineup. And uh, a lot of people have been calling for this change, talking about the fact that Perinara has been too slow from the rucks, for example, and uh, and they haven't been getting that sort of quick ball they're used to um, for all the decades we had of Aaron Smith. As a result, the youngster who will be making his uh, sixth appearance thing this weekend, uh, he will get an opportunity to start. And uh, Rays are talking about him being uh, very fast, uh, a very good passer of the ball. Uh, he's had a very good start to, to, to life in uh, in All Blacks jersey. I think he's scored in debut, actually. Um, but it's a very interesting decision to to drop down TJ Perinari, who's played 84 times for uh, the All Blacks. Um, if we then look at uh, the rest of the actors, David McKenzie retains the side, but a very look, new look uh, back three. Will Jordan, the only surviving player, um, in at that back three, uh, and he shifts to full back. You know, the position where a lot of people say he is the strongest and he is the best at. Um, he is joining Mark Tulea, gets an opportunity to start, and Sarah Reese, who comes in um, due to the injured Caleb Clark, and then, uh, as mentioned, Bowden Barrett dropping down to the bench. Centers remain as uh, um, last weekend in Jordy Barrett and Rico Awani. Off the bench, then it is Asafa Amua, Okotonga, Farsi, Fletcher, Newell, no changes there. Sam Derry has Luke Jacobson for company. On the bench, apparently Dalton Papali'i was fit and could have featured and decided to go with Luke Jacobson instead. And uh, then the three back down players, lots of experience in TJ Perinara, Antonella Brown and Bowden Barrett, who between the three of them have close on 300 caps for the All Blacks. TJ Perinara, 85 caps, Antonella Brown, 76, Bowden Barrett, 129. So... Uh, Lots of experience on the bench. Opa Tonga Farsi, 62 caps, for example. Luke Jacobs, even 21 caps. And this is very deliberate because the Scott Robertson has spoken about the fact that there has kind of been a drop-off in the final 20 minutes, that they haven't been finishing games well. And these changes apparently have been done to do just that, to try and make sure that they don't sort of have that drop-off and that they are putting together a full 80-minute performance. So it's going to be interesting to see if that does make the difference. Um, and... Um, yeah, I think they need that. I think they need something, to be fair. I personally would have thought they, they might have thought about a 60 split. I do think there's a couple of injuries and maybe the forwards at the moment not as dominant as maybe they'd like to be. So I think that that might be sort of one of the reasons that they're not going with a 62 split because they might not just have quite the personnel to be able to pull it off. Uh, but yeah, it's the first ever game between the All Blacks and the Springboks at the DHL Stadium. However, it is the 10th time they were playing Cape Town, which uh, obviously a very big All Black supporter base, which uh, Scott Robertson acknowledged, saying it's been fantastic to see how many people are supporting. They're there getting autographs, getting photos, for example. 
And uh, they've got a very good record in Kenton against Springbox. They've won seven out of the 10 matches. Springbox winning just the three. Uh, the last time that these two teams met was in 2017, so a long time ago. And it was just a one point win for the All Blacks, and that was at Newlands. Um, since then, however, um, things have changed a little bit when it comes to this uh, this rivalry with the Springbox having won the last three games against the All Blacks. Looking to try and make it four in a row. Look to try and get the Freedom Cup. The All Blacks need a response this weekend. Do you think this team has enough in it to give them exactly that? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.